talk of convention. I suppose ideas of stock, ideas of what um, what is a standard. So a lot of the objects in the work, the 3D objects, are all um, off the shelf. You know, they're stock uh, objects that then you you buy and then you rearrange within your work. So just to extend an idea of convention being something that is about product, um, that kind of thing. Unconventional, might, I guess, would be the treatment of those things, the arrangement of them and how they are lived with or performed with by the avatar within the, the work. I, think. I mean, I, I guess for me, the language isn't necessarily attached to the digital. Um, the digital would be a kind of overtly contemporary effect in a way. But the, the structure, the, uh, the shape of the works is much more attached to language, much more attached to grammar, but also to, to cinema, to a kind of much more material aspect. So the way it's cut, the way it's edited, is quite physical, even though the, the stuff itself is, is not. You know, the computer-generated stuff is, is conspicuously not there, whereas the, the effect, the embodying thing, if that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean, um, comes from comes from music literature you know comes from rhythm in a way you know involved the whole way through yeah I mean I work with one guy who does computer generated stuff that I I can't do myself um, but the rest of it is um, it's just me at a computer just um, putting it together doing the sound the music performing in it <clears throat> yeah I mean it's it's an accreting process. It, it kind of grows from, I don't know, from a piece of writing or from a single concept, or an, uh, in this case, a news story about a guy in a sinkhole. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it, it grows. It's, uh, that's, that's how it takes its shape. You know? So I, I guess I wouldn't see that as I irony. I would see that as a kind of, um, that the work hopefully affords a kind of uh, sensation of self in the face of it, you know, that it's not, um, it's much more about conjuring a, a, a feeling within the viewer than it is about lecturing about something. It's not, it's not telling you a piece of knowledge or something, um, or, or even satirizing something. I guess it's, it's fundamentally the form, the computer generated stuff is a kind of burlesque of reality in a way. But I don't, I mean, for me, irony would be either the kind of slightly cynical sort of end point in a way um, of having your cake and eating it so you can take the piss but you also can just do it but also irony would be attached to an earlier idea of irony romantic irony which would be um, to ironize something would be to free the subject in a way again it's which is a kind of um, slightly paradoxical insofar as the work being a projection but the sound, the, sound the, the, the proximity of the figure, what they end up doing when they sing, or I always wanted it to speak to, to be uncomfortably close in a way, you know, that it was sort of, that it, it demands quite a lot of empathetic uh, response, I suppose. So yeah, no, it, intimacy is totally the right feeling for me. Um, I guess there is, a, there is of interest there, something about an idea of digital things either being alienating in certain ways or, or creating distance, which I don't really believe. But, uh, but for me, there's a kind of more about the body, a, a mortal kind of intimate experience, a very physical thing, which actually peculiarly I've found has been easiest to speak to by using a medium that is precisely not that, you know, which is precisely um, uh, not intimate in itself, you know, it's not a body, you know, I'm not holding clay, I'm not painting a thing, you know. I don't really know because it's, that's almost not something I can know, I suppose, you know what I mean? Because it feels like um, I get very close in making the work to it. And I don't mean that in an autobiographical sense, I mean that in relation, actual relation to the work, as in I feel close to the work, which is peculiar, you know, it's, it's, um, that has a very particular 
response in me. So I get to I get to read it as well. I get to be close to it and feel awkward with it as well. It's not it's not an extension of me that I go. Ah, everyone else can feel weird. I feel it too. You know, it's, and that's important that it's not. It it's not that kind of authorship, I suppose. Differentiating, making work and doing everything else, I suppose, or just. Which is also a good thing, you know, is that there isn't necessarily a gap between the work and, and my life or something. Um, I don't know, I think I probably sabotage myself a lot to make it as impossible as I can, you know. Um, I don't really know what that's about, it's probably some sort of labour ethic or something, I don't know. I don't really know, I mean I enjoy it a lot, you know. I enjoy making it a lot more than finishing it. You know. I dread the anti-climax of finishing the work. A deadline? A deadline? I mean, I'm, I would probably just keep going if I didn't have to finish things. <laughs> I have a really good reason, you know. Of, like, I never set out to go, okay, I'm going to make work in this medium. It was much more about expediency of me trying to do something, trying to... Like, in and of itself, there is interest, obviously, in new technologies and things, but that's not what I'm interested in. Um, oftentimes that stuff is a kind of... is is a nowness that is palpable in a way to speak now about things that are pretty much have always been spoken about and attempted to be spoken about. So it's not... Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not sort of... Pers I mean, if I could do something else, I, I, I would. I mean, it's just... Uh, that's just how it's happened, is that is the establishing of a discourse. That's the important thing for me. Is a kind of, uh, you know, a holistic sensation around it, rather than the fetishizing of one aspect or, or, or something that, that is just a demo or like a symptom. I would rather not do that at all. And I don't think that's a good way to go about speaking to these technologies. I'd like to write a lot more. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I, you know, I'm not very good at planning for the future. I don't have a, like a, a horizon that I know about. Um, it's more project by project or idea by idea. I, you know, I don't necessarily want to make a feature film or something or, or, or make a giant thing. Or, I mean, the scale isn't important like that, I don't think, to me at least. But. Um, I'd like to retrieve some time. Uh, I'd like to play the piano more, you know. 